Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here, and today's kitchen conundrum is all about decorating cupcakes and cakes. Today I'm gonna to show you five amazingly simple tricks you will look like a professional in the kitchen. The first tip I have for you is super simple and all you really need is an ice cream scoop. So I have some cupcakes and a little bit of buttercream and I like using a Swiss meringue buttercream and that is basically a buttercream frosting that has whipped egg whites in it. So it's a lighter, silkier texture. Take your ice cream scoop, dip it in a little bit of warm water, give it a good wipe. You don't want any excess moisture. Scoop some frosting, place it right in the center of your cupcake. And now, I mean, this doesn't look very impressive, but all you have to do is give the cupcake a few taps and the frosting flattens out and it frosts the cupcake just like that. And if you wanted to decorate, I have some nonpareils here. You could use sprinkles, you could use sanding sugar, you can use chocolate curls, whatever you have. And there you go, the first very simple but amazingly impressive way to decorate your cupcakes. For the second amazingly simple trick in decorating cakes and cupcakes, I'm using a large petal tip here to make a collar cake. And in my bag, I have the Swiss meringue buttercream frosting. I have a lightly frosted cake in front of me. So starting with the wide end of the tip facing down, start at the top of the cake, apply a decent amount of pressure while you spin the cake stand. And what this does is it creates a collar around the cake. Now you always want to have a back seam. So where I've started and where I've ended is my back seam. So that will be positioned away from all of your guests. I'm gonna start there again. And now you just wanna slightly overlap your collar. This collar cake almost takes on that ruffly appearance that's so popular these days. It's such a great method and it has a very impressive look to it when you're all finished. And so there you have it, a very simple and easy way to make a ruffled edged or collar cake. So now for number three, it's a two-tone soft serve topping to your cupcakes. And all you need is some Swiss meringue buttercream, which I have here, and then some chocolate Swiss meringue buttercream. And you wanna make sure that your two buttercreams are at the same consistency. And I like to put them into Ziploc bags like this, and then snip off the ends, and into a pastry bag with a large round tip, gently filling up half of the bag, pipe in your Swiss meringue buttercream. And now for the chocolate. You're gonna fill up the rest of the bag with this chocolate buttercream. This is what gives you the two-toned effect. And now, this is a little trick here. If you pipe a little bit of frosting in the center of the cupcake coming up, this gives you a guide to work around when you create that soft serve effect. It also allows you time to push any excess frosting through that isn't too toned in color. So I'm gonna start with this chocolate one here and all you have to do is follow around the circumference of that little piece of frosting that you just piped, building up all the way around it. And then at the end you give it a little bit of a spin so it gives you that nice kiss at the top and there you go a soft serve dual toned cupcake that's perfect for any birthday party tip number four is how to create an ombre effect on your cake so i have four different shades of swiss meringue buttercream and you can use food coloring to do this and i have a large round tip here on my pastry bag so starting at the bottom with the darkest color pipe two rings of each color, maybe even three. And you can press into the cake, turn your rotating cake stands. If you are a cake baker or you really want to become a cake baker and you do not have one of these rotating cake stands, you really should invest in them. So now the next shade of pink, third color, and I'm working on a lightly frosted cake. It's a little bit thicker than a basic crumb coat. And now the last layer, I'm just using white buttercream, the original color, just like that. And now with an offset spatula, parallel with the cake, gently glide around the outside of the cake, turning the stand 
and you should end up with this really beautiful ombre effect. Make sure that you wipe your offset spatula in between uses because you really don't want to mix the colors too, too much. And now to fix the top of the cake because the frosting has come up slightly on the sides, take your offset spatula and swipe the icing in towards the center of the cake. And there you have it, a simple yet very impressive ombre cake. And now for the final technique, which happens to be my favorite technique, and that is the rose design. All you need is a large star tip for that. Using the same buttercream frosting we have been, start in the middle, apply a good amount of pressure, and then spiral around in a circle. And just like that, you have what looks like a rose frosting on top of your cupcake. If you were to use this technique on a cake like this, you need to start at the bottom of the cake. You're gonna start with that same rosette and then you're gonna create a round all the way around it. When you have this all done, it's going to look just beautiful. It's a little easier to do on top of the cake than it is on the side because you're not fighting gravity. Check and see if you need to fill in any little spaces that you may have missed with just a little bit of buttercream and there you have it, five amazingly simple ways to embellish your cakes that don't take much skill and you will be baking and creating like a professional. Enjoy.